Uh, first, let me get the attention of the younger generation in 3, 2, 1. What's up? All right, now that I have everybody's attention, let's record some music. Because we all know that your New Year's resolution was to become famous on TikTok, SoundCloud or YouTube. And yes, you clicked on the perfect video. Because I will show you how to upgrade the quality of your music from something like this. They try to make me go to real, I say oh, no, no, no. To this. When I was a teenager, I was in a heavy metal band and slowly I dropped this hobby. To be honest, I don't know why. But for the past couple of months, I joined my old path and I started learning about music again. How to produce and how to record. And yes, my previous experiences were helpful, but the big picture was that I always wanted to record music videos. And now that I'm recording videos and I'm recording songs and my girlfriend is a singer, we achieved to record songs like this. And like this. Now here I go again to see the crystal vision. I keep my visions to myself. And just five seconds of my favorite one. Please go and check out my girlfriend Dolly Rose's music channel and I promise, once you start listening to it, you will be like this baby. Alright, microphone. Now, these days you can record vocals with almost anything. With your phone, with your smartwatch, or a bottle of ranch. But I prefer a microphone. In the attached video, I already showed you guys some microphone options like the Rode Video Micro, the Blue Yeti, or the Shure Beta. Go and check out to see the quality differences between the microphones. Interface. If you have or you ordered one of those microphones that singers use, you will need an interface. But seriously, do your homework. But after hours and hours of research, we picked the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 Generation 2. This was just perfect for our budget, because you can find this interface for as low as $60 on, on OfferUp. The software. To record my songs, I'm using Reaper. Why? One, it's free. Two, it's pretty good. To download Reaper, just click on the link below. Now open up the program, and before we would do anything else, let's fix an issue to not have headaches in the future. After your interface is connected to your computer, go to Options, Preferences, and under Audio, click Devices. In here, you will need to select the interface that you are using. I go ASIO, and under ASIO, I will change the block size to 128. With this, you're changing the latency and there won't be a delay on your voice when you're recording your song. With this first step, we are already closer to that well-desired fame, but let's work a bit more. With double-clicking at the left side, we create a new track. Let's name it Road to Fame. To be able to record, you will need to switch this track to an active track. And now you can finally call your singer to check if the vocal signals are correct. You will need to adjust the vocal gain to get the audio between minus 12 and minus 18. If it goes higher than this, your audio might be distorted. If it goes lower than this, you might not get enough signal. They try to make me go to rehab, I, I say, what? If all the signals are correct, we can finally record our raw vocals. All right, now let's record. They try to make me go to rehab, I, I say, oh, no, no, no. Yes, I've been black boeing, I come back, you know, no, no. Good. Effects. So after we have the raw vocals, we can drop these effects. So click on FX. Now this rear comp is to compress, to reduce the dynamics of a vocal. And in here you can already start playing with the already pre-installed settings, but you can also start making your ideal 
manual setting. Now typically I choose the aggressive vocal and now we can adjust this threshold to get about 3 to 5 dB. They try to make me go to rehab, I say oh, no, no, no. Now we're gonna add an EQ to adjust the tone of the vocal. Double click to the effect panel, choose rear EQ, double click it. Now we have the EQ window open, but as before, you can start playing with the already pre installed settings or you can set your own manual settings. In this case, to make this video faster, I will choose the basic 11 band full vocal. I think this setting is giving a good character to this vocal. Jesus Christ, in order to wrap this video up faster without getting lost in the detail, do that. Boom. They try to make me go to rehab, I say oh, no, no, no. All right, now as a third effect, I'll need to add some delay. This time we'll choose rear delay. Double click on that and we have a new window open. You already know the drill. Start with the pre-installed effects. If those are not working out for you, do it manually. You can turn down the length musical to zero and we can add length time with milliseconds. Let's add just a hundred milliseconds here. Let's pan this to the left, add a tap and for the second one, let's add this to the right and let's reduce this to 70. If you check your vocals now, you can hear the delay that you created. They try to make me go to rehab, I say oh, no, no, no. If this delay is a bit too strong for you, you can always fix this here or you can always reduce the milliseconds at tap one or tap two. Now it's time to add our fourth and last effect. Double click and search for real verbate. Now you can adjust the room size. I would go up to like 80, dampening about 65, and make sure that the dry is unchanged, but with the wetness I go down to minus 20, 21, and I listen to the song. They try to make me go to rehab. I say oh, no, no, no. And now we can check how this whole thing works out with an instrumental track. They try to make me go to rehab. I say oh, no, no, no. Now that you brought in an instrumental version, you can go back to the effects and you can adjust all the little knobs per per your preference, because this is your song, <laughs> and you need to like it. But here is how our final version came out. They try to make me go to rehab, I say I know, no, no. Yes, I've been black, but when I come back, you know, no, no. I ain't got the time, and my daddy thinks I'm fine. Yes, your daddy thinks you're fine. <laughs> After you adjusted all the effects and you're happy with your work, you can actually save your template to use it in the future. Just right click on the track, save tracks as track template and render it out as vocal template. Click save. Now next time when you want to record, just open Reaper and bring in your old template. Open vocal template open and you already have all your effects in you can just start make the line active and you can start the recording session all right guys thank you for watching this whole video if you guys liked it hit that like button and in the comment section below please let me know what is the first song that you guys will record is it going to be an original or a cover let me know but of course if this video is making you famous you can just drop my name anytime when you're up there. <laughs> Until then, see you in the next one. Bye bye.